All right, guys. I've been up all night, no sleep. Decided I was taking my heli apart, taking the motor out of it, and everything. You know, I don't want to fly my heli with the with it being all screwed up like this. You know, to me, this just isn't right. I will not fly it like this. But anyways, I'm trying to make this fast. Um, the cr the crank's fine. I mean, I'm guessing it's fine. It has to be. And I'll explain why in a minute. Um, rod looks straight. Not bent or anything. I mean, everything's in, like, really good shape. Piston still, or the ring still black. Um, clutch is new. Um, fan mount housing is new. Um, what else? Oh, and I checked the bearings. I mean, you can see, like, there's a little bit of rust on the bearings. Not bad. And, and the bearing... It feels smooth if I just turn it like this. But if I push down on the bearing, on the angle a little bit, it feels a little bit rough. So I'm kind of glad that I did order bearings for it. I'm going to just go on and change both the front and rear. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But, you know, like I said, um, I think it was CX-1 mentioned the baffle and the pipe. I mean, the baffles are fine in these pipes. No rattling or anything. Like I said, I have two, I actually have two pipes. Oh, great. That's my brand new AR-7100R that I want to put on it. Damn it. my second pipe that I put on it no rattling or anything with this one pipes are fine and this is why I say that you know I'm 100% sure that you know because it did hydro lock on me before twice and before I get into why I don't think why I know nothing's bent like the crank or the rod or anything, I'll say this real quick. Um, I'm guessing like right around when the problem started, I mean like I said, it could be from that little bit of roughness in the bearing, I'm not sure. Um, I mean usually, I've, I've never had a bearing go bad and vibrate like in the tank and the heli as bad as mine is right now. But my fuel line, you know what, it comes up around to about right here and it clips. Well, when I clip it, I always fill my tank up because I have the magnet in it. I clip the fuel line and there's always, you know, about like that much fuel, you know, from the clip to here still on the line. Well, when I go to go out the next day, that little bit of fuel is missing. Like it ran into the motor and I've been reading up and from what I understand is technically I wouldn't even have as long as I let the pressure out of the tank there's no pressure in the tank I technically wouldn't even have to clip this line and the fuel should not run into the motor so I'm new to the YS you know these YS regulated motors so I'm guessing that the little stopper on the inside you know it was sticking so what I did was I had a, um, a YS91SR, not a 3DS like this one, and I took the, the whole regulator assembly and everything off of it, and I made sure I cleaned it out and everything, and I took the needles and everything out of my carb, I took the barrel out, I took the idle needle out, cleaned all of that stuff out of it, and put it back together, but I mean it's kind of hard to say if it's from the bearing or if it's from the probably from the regulator sticking you know it could be you know going from lean to rich lean to rich lean to rich because you know like I said I'm like two and um, eight turns on both needles when I was flying it 
and the last time I flew it was two days ago I actually posted the video in the video section and when I unloaded the motor two or three times or when I unloaded the motor two or three different times when I was watching the video I could just barely 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 hear it get the little bit of lean sound to it you know and that's what the needles at um, two and a, um, eight turns out so I don't know if the regular probably has anything to do with that I'm hoping that does but if not you know I mean like I said the bearing feels smooth but when I push down on it it kind of feels rough this bearing here I mean I can feel it so that could possibly be doing it too I mean if it was a, a OS motor I definitely if the bearing was a little bit rough I would know for a fact you know that that was probably doing it but with this being a regulated motor you know I'm not sure I mean I know if it was an OS that that this little bit of roughness right here it wouldn't cause it to vibrate as bad as it is I mean it could I've never had one like with a little bit of roughness like this usually whenever I seen or had a bearing go bad you know it starts shitting out glow plugs and this motor is not crapping glow plugs out yet so it's kind of like hard to say <laughs> it's like I'm just replacing parts to replace parts and stuff right now I guess but as for bending the crank or the rod I'll show you my starter I mean this this thing it like honestly it's not even strong enough to even bend anything like it wouldn't bend a wet noodle it's only a Torque Master 90 with a um, 4 cell um, 1600 milliamp nanotech. I think it's like a 4 EC. But I'll show you. I can literally stop this thing with my hand. Ah, oh, loosen it up. But yeah, my starter definitely it 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 won't bend anything on this motor for sure. I mean, I've used a Makita drill. If anything, my drill would have bent it way before this thing would, <laughs> for sure. But I mean, like I said, everything's in really good shape. You know, my ring's still black. Cross hatching is still in the in the sleeve like brand new. Um, the crank still, the crank's like really clean. You know, this, this motor I got it from a buddy of mine. And then he really didn't run it that much. But like everything's in really good shape. You know, even, even my, um, you know, I've replaced all these bearings and everything in the, um, the clutch housing stack too. Like all that stuff has been replaced. So I'm hoping it's either either was the regulator or the bearings, but I don't want to take a gamble and put it together thinking it was the regulator and go to find out it was a stupid bearing. So I ordered the bearing anyway, so I'm gonna just leave it apart and replace it. And then after that I will do another update and hope to God that this thing is fixed. I mean <laughs> drop my AR seventy one hundred R but I really like to get that put on here like bad it's like get rid of some of this wiring and stuff on it oh i miss flying this thing so bad right now but it ain't even worth flying like some people will fly their helis and stuff like this but i can't i just can't do it it ain't worth chancing screwing something up and i know a lot of people don't like it but i kind of like fly a little bit closer than some like so I don't want a chance of anything happening to my heli and knocking my lights out. <laughs> so, but I'm going to post this and if anyone has a, any advice on this, you know, this pump, if that could be one of the issues, you know, please let me know. I mean, because like I said, from what I understand is w with the pressure out of the tank, you know, with fuel in the line, you know no pressure in the tank it should not go back into the motor it should not go through there 
so I'm guessing it was sticking but I like I said I did clean this one out I cleaned the needles I took the car barrel out cleaned all three needles everything so see what happens soon